Hey there folks and good morning and welcome back for another Shaving Soap Spotlight and today we're going to spotlight Soapy Bathman uh, Tropical Lime and this is a good soap. haven't used it for a long time but it's a good soap. Scent strength on this is about a uh, 8. It's, it's uh, quite robust and the scent is just a really wonderful lime just like you see there. Uh, no, no having to guess about what the scent is and it's very nice. We pre-loaded so we'll save a little bit of time so let's wet the face and get going. I've never had any uh, quality issues with Soapy Bathman soaps. Oh, that's nice. You're really getting that lime now that I'm lathering. It's actually kicked up, you know, like to 8.5, 9 level. Nice. Really nice lime soap here, folks, in terms of scent. And I'm sure the performance is going to be uh, good. As I was saying, add a little water. I've never had any uh, performance woes with a Soapy Bathman soap uh, made by Chris Erskine or Erskine. Doesn't really matter if you get his last name right. <laughs> uh, he's a nice guy. And uh, this is a nice soap. I must say, let me add a little bit more water. Just to get a little more hydration in there. Really nice. Nice scent, I gotta tell you. I really, I was a little uh, sleepy and groggy still because it's not even 5 a.m., but this lime will wake you up in a good way, in a pleasant way. And today we're gonna use a Fat Boy Razor. This one was sent by Don the Navy Goat. I'm gonna go with it on five uh, this morning, just for the heck of it. Oh yeah, that feels nice. Very nice. As always, with most of our soaps, nice residual slickness there. Every now and then I'll get one that um, doesn't have much residual slickness, but by and large, most of these artisan soaps, uh, at this point, if you're dealing with an established uh, artisan who's, make, who's made soap for a while, they're pretty doggone good. So, you're usually getting uh, good quality product and uh, you know a lot of times when people talk about artisans um, they assume they're just in it for money and I gotta tell you a lot of them help each other out with their formulas and or some do I know for a fact so um, they're not always just out for money they're also folks who a lot of them enjoy the hobby as well, and uh, they do help each other out. Now, not all of them, but some of them do. And uh, generally, most of them are very good people, I feel. Gotten to know uh, a number of them, and I like the vast majority of them. All right. I got to tell you, this first pass was really nice. Uh, this soap performed really really well we'll uh, do the second two passes off camera then we'll come back and uh, tell you how it went and wrap it up with the post stay tuned for that all right so the shave went well let's go ahead and apply some thayers real quick magic because it's made by witches as you well know oh yeah good stuff and uh, take a quick peek at the remain lather here and by the way that was the shave revolution usurper brush nice and slick no problems with that some cushion and glide in there too oh nice scent if you like lime real really really nice stand by we'll be right back all right so for our aftershave today we're going to go with the reef point admiralty and it doesn't necessarily match it's more of a yuzu than lime but it's a really nice scent and i haven't used it for a while and uh Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to go for another round on that one. It's good. Very, very nice. Oh yeah. That smells fantastic. What a wonderful scent in the aftershave. Uh, Reef Point Admiralty. And let me wipe that label off so no alcohol <coughs> stain there. Um 
All right, so for today's shave, we used the Fat Boy. Thank you, Don, for sending this Fat Boy. It really hit the spot. And by the way, on my third pass, sometimes I turn it up, and I did turn it up to nine. Um, and that's the thing with adjustables. If it's not hitting the spot or you want to go for a little extra aggression towards the end, open the bay doors a little bit, adjust it upward if you want to. Same thing <clears throat> um, if you need to take it down a few notches. No problem with doing that. Shave Revolution Usurper brush. I call it that. I think he called it the Evolution Not Nice Brush. Really hit the spot. And of course, last but not least, Soapy Bathman Tropical Lime. Um, if you really enjoy lime, this is a really, really nice soap, folks. All right, folks. Thanks, as always, for watching. And I remind you, as always, keep them up, keep them open, and follow the money to get to the truth.